We are starting our tour here of the Celebrity Eclipse on Deck 16. Now this is about as far up as you can get on the ship as a passenger, of course. Now this deck is only accessible via stairs. It is only towards the forward of the ship. So this is worth the very forward of the ship. Um, and it is just kind of a sun deck. You're gonna see a lot of chairs up here, a lot of loungers, incredible views, of course. And we're in beautiful New Zealand today. And this just kind of stretches around the front. Now I will show you, there is a water fountain up here, but then you do have the basketball court. We'll get down there, that's on deck 15, but it does kind of overlook the basketball court. I do think that that's a little bit interesting. You're all the way up here at the front and the views are really only on the sides. But nonetheless, this is still a great deck to be able to come and lay out on. These are really, really comfortable loungers and chairs up here. So if you do need a place to come and get away and, get, and just have kind of some peace and quiet <laughs> from the busyness of the cruise ship, this is a great deck to come up on. Deck 16 all the way at the forward. Not a lot of people know about it. Let's take the stairs on down to, to 15. Now coming down to deck 15, again, deck 15 does not stretch all the way across the ship. There's a forward section and then there is the lawn at the back and we'll get back there in just a few minutes. But I do wanna walk up here because this is the area <laughs> that has the best views. Again, there's more loungers up here. You are going to have that basketball court that we just saw. We'll just take a look at this deck really quick. And this is really unobstructed. So you can come up here, see the beautiful views. It's a great place to come up when you're sailing away, though just note, it might be a little bit windy. And then of course you do have that basketball court right here. And there are drinking fountains on this level as well. So there is a drinking fountain. Continue to walk around to the other side. But again, lots of loungers. If you can't find a place to sunbathe on the main pool deck, up here on decks 15 and 16 in the forward is a great place to come. And then this will take you down to steps that will get you down to deck 14. Now we're gonna hop all the way across to the more aft section of the ship so we can check out the lawn club. Let's head over there. We have now made it up here on deck 15. Now we are on the aft side of the ship. These are the aft bank of elevators that do come up here to the 15th deck. And on 15 here in the elevator banks, you do have ping pong. These are used quite a bit, especially on sea days. There's one on this side, one on the other side of the elevators. But we are gonna head outside and check out the lawn club because that is really the peace de resistance <laughs> of the top of the celebrity eclipse. Walking out here, you are going to have a seating section right away, and you're gonna notice this green stuff up here on the deck, and that is living grass. The solstice class on celebrity cruise ships does have living grass on the upper deck, on deck 15 towards the back of the ship, which is very unique. You have a lot of different activities up here like bocce ball, cornhole, even golf. It's very, very cool. But something that is extremely unique to this class of ship is the um, hot glass blowing classes that you can take. Now this does come with a fee, but it happens up here on the lawn. Um, you come up, you learn how to do it. You get to take your hot glass blown object back home with you. We're of course in the fall of 2022, so you're gonna see some pumpkins there. Um, they'll do things based on the season that you are currently in or for any holiday that you're currently uh, celebrating. But the grass is really beautiful. You know, the only thing that they ask up here is that you do not wear your high heels. So, if you are a wearer of high heels, do not come up here and walk on the grass. We're gonna go ahead and take a stroll towards the back of the ship. Um, there's another venue here that is quite popular. And if you are a fan of Celebrity Cruises, you're gonna know what venue I'm talking about. But as we walk back here directly in front of me is gonna be that area where you can actually play golf. So they'll have putt-putt tournaments up here, or if you just wanna come up and leisurely play because you miss it back home, you can definitely do that here on your vacation. Now as we turn the corner, you are going to notice some additional chairs. Um, what's great is back here is going to be the sunset bar. So it's a great place to come, hang out, have a drink, 
But the chairs and the tables make it so that you can come and hang out, play cards, maybe on a really nice day. Although, be careful, they might get blown away. <laughs> but this is a great place to come and hang out with friends and family. And of course, it's going to provide you with exceptional views. We're here today in New Zealand. Um, Celebrity Eclipse is doing Australia and New Zealand this season. But there you can see the Sunset Bar. And then you are going to have stairs that will take you directly down to deck 14. That will be where the ocean view bar and grill will be. So the buffet is directly below this. You have easy access to get down there or come on back up. And then of course you are gonna have more sections of grass. And a very important thing, back here at the back of the ship, you are going to have a smoking section. So if you are a smoker, if you're someone that smokes cigarettes or cigars, you'll be able to come to the very back of the ship here and do that. This will be where you'll find that section specifically for you. We're gonna continue to walk around. You'll see more grass, of course, in front of me. A really nice bench where you can hang out. And then this walkway is going to take us directly down to deck 14. So that was all of deck 15. So let's go ahead and head on downstairs. We've made it down to deck 14. We are again towards the back of the ship. These are the elevator banks. So you're gonna have four elevators over here. And then on the other side, you'll have four more elevators with of course stairs to get up or down in between. But the main thing here towards the back of the ship on 14 is going to be Ocean View Cafe. Ocean View Cafe is going to be the buffet for the ship. This buffet actually on the ship has been really good. It's been one of the better buffets on a lot of cruise ships that I've been on recently. Um, but they've provided a lot of variety of food, especially for lunch. Uh, lots of different types. You've got Indian food. Um, you've got food from around the world. There's like a specific place where you can get a different type of food from a different country every day of the week, which I think is really cool. Um, now up here, the buffet is going to be open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then you do have this front section of the buffet, which is gonna provide pizza, pasta and salad up until 1 a.m. So here in 2022, you can get food up in the buffet as late as 1 a.m. Obviously, you're going to see a lot of different seating all the way around. The seating does stretch all the way um, around the back of deck 14, but I do wanna walk out so you can see the very back of the buffet section because it is outdoors. And I actually think it's one of the best places to dine on the ship because it just provides you with some breathtaking views. Past the sliding doors here, you are going to have the Ocean View Bar. So that's going to be a bar where you can come and get a lot of different types of drinks, of course, with your food. And then you have a lot of different seating areas out here right at the very back of the ship. And again, it provides you with beautiful views on a sea day or a port day like today and then lots of seating. Now you do see those stairs there. Those are gonna take you directly up to the Sunset Bar. That's where we just were. So again, easy access between deck 14 and 15 at the very back of the ship. And through these doors here, you're gonna um, walk all the way back to the elevator banks, lots more seating. So we're gonna jump forward to get to the middle section of deck 14. We are now coming out of Ocean View Cafe on the other side. Of course, you are gonna see the elevator bank there, but we are gonna walk outside to deck 14. Now, this is primarily a sun deck. We saw some sun deck areas, obviously, on decks 15 and 16, but this area is gonna provide you with a lot of different loungers as well as the jogging and running track. So you can see the track does go all the way around to deck 14 here. Um, it is a little bit elevated there, obviously not quite as elevated as on the edge class ships, but it does provide you with a little bit of a unique or different running or walking pattern than you would find on a lot of other ships. Again, lots of loungers. You are overlooking the main pool area up here. I'll show that in a second. But before we get there, you do have the mast grill. Now this area is open for lunch up until 6 p.m. each day. It provides you with burgers, hot dogs, french fries, and then they do have um, a bar here where you can get bottled beverages. So things like beers, sodas, salsa waters. And they do have soft serve ice cream up here as well. The turkey burger is delicious. That is forever my favorite on Celebrity Cruises. And then you do have this bridge that's gonna overlook the pool deck. 
Now we will get down there in just a minute, but as you can see, there's two pools and four small hot tubs, as well as lots of places to sit. And you do have a stage area up there where you're gonna have a lot of live music, different aerobics classes, lots to do here on the Celebrity Eclipse. Now on the other side of the mass grill, you are gonna have the mass bar. So this is gonna be another place where you can come and purchase beverages. There is also a smoking section up here. So we saw a smoking section on deck 15 in the long club and then up here on deck 14 at the mast bar, you can also have your cigarettes or your cigars. Now, one other thing to note here is right outside of the mast bar and then on the other side of the mast grill, you are gonna have easy access to the pools. So you are gonna have staircases on either side. We're gonna continue to walk along the track because there's definitely more to see on deck 14. Now up on my left, you're gonna see a lot of glass. That is going to be the solarium. We'll get down there in just a few minutes, but that of course is going to be the area that is just for those 16 and older. And then on my right, you are gonna see a staircase. That's gonna take you up to deck 15, um, where we have the front of the ship. You saw those loungers up there, as well as the solstice deck, which is deck 16. Walking inside of deck 14, you are going to have, of course, the forward bank of elevators here, but then you do have the sky lounge. Now the sky lounge is going to be a large lounge that sets right at the front of the ship. And this is gonna be an area where a lot of different activities will take place. You'll have trivia up here, game shows, as well as this turns into the nightclub at night. Now on this cruise to New Zealand and Australia, the nightclub has been quite lively. <laughs> People on this side of the world definitely know how to party. You will have the main bar here, so the Sky Lounge Bar, and then you can see the dance floor. So again, lots of different activities up here. There's a lot of places to sit, and of course you do have the floor to ceiling glass. So it's a great place if you don't wanna be outside but you still wanna capture the beautiful views of wherever you are, this is the place to come and do it. Again, you have the bar there, and this is the Sky Lounge. Walking back outside here into the elevator lobby, of course you're gonna have the stairs on my left to take you up to deck 15 or down to deck 12. There is no deck 13. <laughs> the cruise ship industry is quite superstitious. But then on this side, you are going to have the Sky Conference Center. So this is of course going to be conference or meeting rooms. If you are here for a work trip or potentially business, um, you're gonna be up here deck 14. All the way forward is where you will find the conference center. These doors will take us back outside. So I'll give you one more look outside here of the jogging and running track. Here's the view of, of course, the glass that goes down to the solarium. And that's where the jogging track cuts through. And this is deck 14. We have now made it into deck 12. So again, we are in the forward bank of elevators and all the way forward, you are going to have the spa. Of course, everybody loves the spa. This is gonna be the place where you can come and get a lot of different spa services done. So they do have a barber down here. They have a lot of massage services. Um, they even have different uh, professionals that will allow you a consultation if you are interested in different types of services. Um, but the spa check-in is all the way over here to my left. So if you are coming for a spa service, you'll check in right here in the lobby. And you also have the fitness center here. So the fitness center, again, all the way at the front of the ship here on deck 12. You have a lot of different types of workout equipment. As you walk in, you've got different towels, of course. They also have headphones for you to use if you did forget the headphones. But you're gonna have a lot of different types of weights, workout equipment, elliptical machines. Um, and then at the very, very front, you are going to have an area where they'll provide classes. So there'll be different classes as well as Peloton bikes. So if you are actually a Peloton member, you can come and use these bikes by just logging in to, um, to your Peloton account. The Peloton bikes are right over there in the corner. They also have a nice section outside. If you do need to just get out and get some fresh air while you are working out, that is very unique to this ship. There's not a lot of ships that have an outdoor section to the gym. And then if you do wanna come and get some consultation done or work with a fitness trainer, those offices will be right here. So really all encompassing gym. They have a lot of different types of equipment for you to use. And it's a pretty sizable gym too, specifically for this size of this ship. We're gonna take a walk back out here into the spa lobby. 
Now, if you are in aqua class on the ship, aqua class is a class of stateroom. It's a class of specifically balcony staterooms. You're gonna be able to use the Persian gardens. You will find those here in the spa as well. So that is a perk to being an aqua class, in addition to eating in the blue restaurant, which we will see in a little bit. We are now walking into the solarium. The solarium is, of course, that area that is for adults only. And adults is classified as 16 and up here, but you do have this beautiful pool, as well as fountain, and a lot of different loungers all around the pool. And on this side, you are going to have the spa cafe. Now the spa cafe, a lot of people miss. They don't realize it is here until the very end of the cruise. The spa cafe serves small bites for lunch from noon until 2 p.m. every single day, as well as sandwiches. So you can order a turkey club sandwich, they're really good. And then they do have juices here. The juices are included in the premium drink package or can be purchased for a, uh, a cost. Now you are going to have two different hot tubs, one on the left and then one on the right. And then again, lots of different lounge chairs here. The great thing about the solarium is also that it is enclosed. So it doesn't matter if it's a rainy day outside or if it is a beautifully sunny day, it's gonna be an area where you can come and enjoy the pool. We are now walking outside to the main pool deck. So we saw that a little bit ago, but again, there are two pools here and four hot tubs. One of the pools is more of an actual swimming pool. It gets to about six feet deep. The other pool is more of just a wading pool. It's about three and a half to four feet deep. Now here at the very front of the deck, you do have the pool bar. So you are gonna be able to come here and get different drinks. If you are looking to uh, have a beverage while you enjoy the hot tub or the pool, but again, you're gonna notice a lot of different types of loungers, seating. If you are here to lay out or enjoy the sun, this is definitely gonna be the place to do it. Now we're walking past the swimming pool. The smaller pool here is that wading pool that I was talking about. Looks like it's right at four feet. So it is a pool to just kind of hang out in with friends and family. And then of course you do have the stage area and dance floor. So they have parties up here, they have concerts, they've got aerobic classes. There's a lot that happens here on the pool deck. It is of course a port day, so a little bit less is going on today. But the pool deck is definitely a place to be, especially on a sea day. Now you are going to have stairs on either side here that are gonna take you up to deck 14 and then also on either side is gonna be where the men's and women's restrooms are located. Here on my left is going to be the women's restroom. On the other side of the elevators is going to be where the men's restroom is. So if you're looking for that bathroom on the pool deck, you're gonna to come towards the back of the ship. We have now entered in to the deck 12 elevator bank. There are some rooms up here, of course stairs, and then elevators to take you up or down. We're gonna continue our journey through the ship by going on down. We've now jumped down to deck 10. Now a lot of these floors between 12 and five are going to just be stateroom decks, but here on deck 10, you are going to have the library. Um, the library is of course a place where you can come, read a book, hang out. There's a lot of nice seating down here. It is nice and quiet. If you're really wanting to just kind of get away and find a place to get some peace and quiet on the ship, deck 10 towards the aft bank of elevators is gonna be the place to do that. Continuing down to deck nine, you do have the card room here. Again, more towards the aft bank of elevators, more midship. This is an area where you'll have a lot of different types of tables, so you can come and sit and enjoy cards or puzzles with friends and family. So again, this is deck nine, more towards the aft bank of elevators. Deck seven is where you're gonna find an area called Team Earth. Now really, towards the aft bank of elevators here are gonna be all of these pockets of places where you can come and sit and relax. They call it Team Earth because this is the lookout point for the tree. Now the Solstice class all have a living tree that is suspended above the center of the ship. So you can see this tree here. It's very cool and very unique, again, to this class of ship. And then up here you are going to have different places where you can sit, as well as your captain's club desk. So if you do have a question about your loyalty status, of course captain's club is going to be the loyalty club for if you sail celebrity quite frequently. That desk is up here on deck seven for you to come and ask questions to. 
The last small area that is smushed in between all of these staterooms to point out is going to be um, the internet cafe. So you are going to have the Celebrity Eye Lounge here on deck six. Again, more towards the aft bank of elevators, kind of midship, but you do have computers in here that you can use. And then this will be the desk that you'll come to if you have questions about connecting to Wi-Fi or you need to speak to someone about your Wi-Fi package. Now they do also sell different products in here. So they have different electronics like headphones um, as well as Apple TVs. So if this is something that would, you would be interested in on your cruise, deck six is gonna be where you will find it. We've made it down to deck five. Now we are in the very forward of the ship right now. Um, now up here towards the elevator bank, you are of course going to have stairs that will take you up to six or down to four. But this is gonna be the entrance into the theater. Now the uh, Celebrity Eclipse Theater is massive. It spans two decks, decks four and decks five. And there's a number of different shows here and a, a number of different variety acts that you'll be able to see when you're here um, on the Celebrity Eclipse. Definitely go to the shows, do not miss them. They've also had a number of different entertainers that they brought on board. You are gonna have bathrooms on either side of the theater. And then I do just wanna step outside because out here on deck five, more towards the forward, you will have another smoking section. So if you are someone that smokes cigarettes or cigars, this will be the area to come down on deck five. We saw several smoking areas up top, um, but in addition to the smoking area, you do also have a nice outer deck where you can come and walk on either side of the ship. So that's this side of the ship. And then directly across from us, you are gonna have another area where you can go out and enjoy the outer decks. I do like going out on the lower decks because it gets you really close to the water and sometimes it can get you some really beautiful views. Again, another entrance to the theater with the ladies bathroom on this side. Men's bathroom is over on the other side next to the smoking section. Now we're gonna continue walking towards the back of the ship and you are going to have a lot of shops on this deck. Uh, decks four and five do provide you with a number of different shops. Of course, you are gonna have your scent shop up here. So your perfume, your cologne. The shops are closed right now because it is a port day. Um, but closest to the theater, you will have those scent shops as well as your bag shops. So through the window here, you can see a number of different bags. All of the very high-end shopping bag brands like Coach, Louis Vuitton can be bought here on board. Directly across from the bag shop is going to be the photo gallery. So this will be the place where you can come and check out your pictures. They do still print some pictures here on the ship. They have a combination of printed pictures as well as a couple of screens that you can use by just tapping your CPAS card to be able to pull up the pictures to look at all of the different photos that you've taken while on board. Those screens are right here. And if you are interested in purchasing a photo package, that can be done here as well during their operating hours. They are closed again because we are at port. Continuing our walk down past the shops, in this shop you can definitely see a number of different items. Um, this is almost like a boutique shop. They have clothing, scarves, bags, accessories, a number of different opportunities to spend additional money while you're on board. And then you are gonna have the men's shop. The men's shop is gonna have different things like watches, again, clothes, jewelry for men. Um, so if you're here and you are a shopper, deck five is gonna be your place. Now alongside the shops, you also do have the art gallery here. So if you are a collector, Park West is of course on board. They hold a number of different events as well as art auctions. So you can purchase art while you're actually on board. And then you do have the world-class bar. The world-class bar is gonna be your more high-end bar here on the ship. So this is gonna be the area, if you have the premium drinks package, you are going to want to come and check out the menu. A lot of unique drinks, a lot of very good drinks, and the bartenders are more like mixologists. So you can tell them, you know, the type of drink that you want, and most of them will be able to make that. You have jewelry shop here. They do have an Effie boutique on board. So that is, of course, going to be right here. And then we're gonna walk out into the Grand Plaza area. And as we walk out, you're gonna notice this line. That is for Cafe El Baccio. Cafe El Baccio is going to be the coffee shop while on board. It is one of the most popular places on board. A lot of people come and we'll get coffee or pastries here. Now, some people don't know at Cafe El Baccio, you can get free pastries. So they have things like muffins, tarts, um, little small snacks, cookies that are delicious. Cafe El Baccio will be um, able to provide all of that plus your coffee. 
You do get a beautiful view here into the Grand Plaza. So of course the Grand Plaza does span decks three, four, and five. We'll get down there in just a few minutes. But of course, every single evening they have live music here that is filling up all three of these decks. It's absolutely magnificent. As we continue to walk around, you are gonna see Sushi on Five. Sushi on Five is going to be one of the specialty dining restaurants here on board. This is gonna be your sushi, as well as Asian cuisine um, food diner. This is an a la carte restaurant, which means you come here and you're gonna pay per item. So if you want just one roll of sushi, you technically could come and get that, and then they will add a 20% gratuity on top of that. So Sushi on Five, not ironically, is located on Deck Five. We have the aft bank of elevators here. So of course we've got four elevators on this side, four elevators on the other that go right into Cafe Albaccio. But we are gonna continue to walk past the stairs because there's a whole section of deck five yet to be seen. Of course, you've got sliding doors there. So if you are wanting to go outside, again, deck five is a great place that you can walk along the decks. And then as we walk in here, this is the ensemble lounge. This is gonna be another bar and area where you can come and enjoy live music every single evening. This is also the gateway to a lot of different restaurants, specifically the specialty restaurants. So as we walk up here first, you're going to have the Michael's Club. The Michael's Club is going to be an area specifically for the suites. They of course are going to have a bar in there as well. So if you are staying in the suites, this is going to be the bar and area exclusively for you. You see the ensemble lounge bar, lounge bar right here in the middle of this area, but then right off to the bar, you are gonna have Murano. Murano is going to be your French inspired fare. This is a fine dining restaurant and it is a specialty restaurant. It costs $71 per person right now in 2022, and it is delicious. As we continue to walk, there is going to be a men's bathroom here. Now we walked past the women's bathroom. It's right next to the Michael's Club. And then the men's bathroom is going to be right here in the ensemble lounge. And as we continue to walk, we're gonna find more restaurants back here towards the back of the ship. You're gonna notice, notice that blue star directly in front of me. There's a lot of very cool and unique art here on the Eclipse. And as we walk up immediately on my left, we are gonna have Cuisine. Now Cuisine is a retired restaurant that they have turned into what is now Le Petit Chef. So you can see in here, there's not a lot on the tables. And that is because the actual show happens on your table. There's cameras above the tables and little cartoon characters are gonna make your meal as you sit and eat. It's a very fun experience, especially for kids. If you have a family on board, this is an experience I would recommend, specifically for little ones. We have Tuscan Grill. This is of course going to be the Italian restaurant. Again, another specialty restaurant here on the ship. Very good food. Their fame to claim is that they make all of their pasta homemade fresh every single day. So if you love that fresh pasta and Italian food, this is gonna be a restaurant that you'll definitely want to come and check out. Of course, on each sailing, they have specialty dining packages that you can buy, so you can always purchase one of those to try all of these different specialty restaurants. And then last but not least, we do have Blue. Now, Blue is going to be that Aqua Class restaurant that I mentioned earlier. This is going to be specifically the restaurant to those for those in Aqua Class and Suites. Blue is one of our favorite dining uh, venues here on the Eclipse. We are lucky enough to be in Aqua Class for the sailing, and we have had number after number after number of delicious meals in here. It is all about the food, it's about clean eating, and if you ask me, Aqua Class is worth it for this restaurant alone. We've now made it down to deck four. We are more towards the back of the ship. This is of course going to be the aft bank of elevators. And directly behind the elevators, you are going to have the Moonlight Sonata dining room. This is going to be the main dining room here on the Celebrity Eclipse. Of course, this dining room does span two decks, so decks three and four. You can find out which deck you're on as well as what your dining time is by looking at your CPAS card. Now, right outside those dining rooms, you are going to have bathrooms. Men's on one side, women's on the other. So easy access to the bathrooms um, on either side of the dining rooms. We're getting ready to walk back into the main Grand Central area and right away is the Martini Bar. This is of course a Celebrity Cruises favorite. The Martini bartenders are some of the most 
talented bartenders at sea. They put on martini shows every night and they can make a mean martini. If you are a martini connoisseur or you're just someone that enjoys a really good drink, deck four here at the martini bar is one to definitely check out. Now as we walk past the martini bar, we're gonna hop to the other side, but I do wanna point out that you are gonna have a staircase here that will take you directly down to deck three. And we will be on the other side of that staircase down on deck three, but there's a couple of steps to step down and step back up to get to the other side here. And this is where Cellar Masters is. Cellar Masters is of course going to be the um, area where you can come and get a number of different wines on board. It is also used as a place to embark, uh, get on and off the ship. So we are here at port today, and that is an area where people are getting on and off the ship. But as you can see, it's an area with a lot of different couches. This has some actual high tables and some really nice places where you can come and work um, if you are interested in working from a cruise ship. You can definitely check out, we do have a video on that. As we continue to walk on deck four, we are gonna pass into Fortune's Casino. Now this is of course going to be the casino on the ship. It provides a number of different opportunities to donate to the ship's cause. <laughs> You've got um, tables, so lots of different tables. Of course, all of your, um, your general gameplay like Blackjack, Ultimate Texas Hold'em, craps, and then it, there is a number of slot machines on board as well. So it's a really big size casino for this size of the ship. You are gonna have the cashier all the way down at the end, so on the other side there. But I did wanna point out that there is a bar in here as well. There are a lot of bars on the Celebrity Eclipse. This is going to be the casino bar, and as you notice, you're gonna see two big screens above the bar, and then there's going to be two additional screens here on this wall. This is another area that they're going to be showing sports. So if you are a sports fan, you can come here, ask them if they have access to your favorite team that's playing, and watch the game here at the casino bar. Now, just past the martini bar, if we were to keep walking, that's where we are right now, these are the other shops. These shops are very unique because these are kind of like the celebrity brand shops, but then they also have daily pop-up shops here. What do I mean by pop-up shops? I mean that they're going to have different types of sales. So they might have a bag sale, they might have a t-shirt sale, they might have a jewelry sale, and it'll be a bunch of different items in the shop every single day. So there's a reason if you're a shopper to come down to deck four daily to see what's in the pop-up shop and what they're selling. So all of these shops along um, the, my left-hand side here are going to be the brand store as well as the pop-up areas. And then last but not least, you are going to have your spirit store here. So right through these doors when it is open is where you're gonna be able to purchase things like cigarettes, alcohol, liquor while on board. Now we are walking into Celebrity Central. Celebrity Central is another area that there's a lot of different activities. There are nightly game shows in this little circular area. Every single evening, this area is packed with a lot of different types of people playing a lot of different types of games. It is so much fun. Jared and I have actually participated almost nightly in these just because it's another thing to do. The activities team has been great at providing a lot of different types of activities. As we continue to walk, you are gonna have future crews. So when you're on board, ready to book that next vacation, this will be where you'll do it. And then you might be wondering what this giant ball thing is. This is a DJ booth for Kazar. Kazar is another area that's a club. It's got a bar, a dance floor, and they'll do things like live karaoke as well as different types of parties in here. So that is Kazar. Just past Kazar, we do have the entrance into the theater here on deck four. Again, you are gonna have men's and women's bathrooms right outside of this venue. So if you do need to use those, those will be there. And then we do have the forward bank of elevators, which happen to be right across, again, from stairs that will take you up to deck five or down to deck three. Now I wanna walk over to this side really quick because there's one other area that I need to show you. And it is a part of Celebrity Central. So Celebrity Central is kind of this whole middle area where they do game shows, as well as this theater, very small theater in here where they will show, game, show movies. Um, it looks like a movie is showing there right now and they'll do things like deal or no deal and additional games. So it's right here on deck four in Celebrity Central. You are gonna see stairs that will take you right up to the additional shops as well as the photo gallery. And this was deck four. 
We have made it down to the final deck, and that is deck three. We are here more towards the back again in the aft bank of elevators, and then of course, you are going to have a couple of dining rooms here. So this, there's stairs to get up to four or down to two, um, but you will have the entrance into Lumine. Now Lumine is going to be the restaurant specifically for suites. So if you do find yourself in a suite on the Celebrity Eclipse, this will be the area where you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is of course more elevated food. The service in here is incredible, um, but it is for suites only. So suites guests can access Lumine as well as the Michael Club. Right across from Lumine, you are going to have Moonlight Sonata. So this is going to be the third deck entrance for the main dining room. So again, this main dining room does span two decks. Right outside of these dining rooms, again, you'll have men's restrooms on one side and ladies' restrooms on the other. Now we're gonna walk into the main area of the Grand Plaza. There's just a few more things down here. There's a lot of staterooms on deck three, um, but you are gonna have the guest relations desk. So if you are having any issues or questions, check in with guest relations here. There's also a community board down here on deck three. So if you are interested in potentially a meetup, meeting other people, looking for groups that might be similar to you on board, like if you're a solo traveler, or if you might be a part of the LGBTQ plus community, this will be the area that you can come and find those meetups. Lots of places to sit and enjoy live music. The main area here is going to be where you're going to have live music every single evening. So you see a piano there. There's going to be a number of different types of music right here for you to sit and listen. These chairs fill up quick. So a tip is get here early in the evening if you want to sit and have a seat while you listen to live music. You do have another bar here. You have the Passport Bar. So again, another bar with a lot of different types of unique drinks. This bar has been really busy on this cruise. So again, another bar that if you want to come and have a specific drink down here, get down here with a little bit of time and get down here to get a seat early if you want to have a drink while listening to the music. That's the best way that I prefer listening to the music in the evenings. And then right off the Passport Bar, you are going to have the Shore Excursions Desk. So if you are interested in those land adventures while you're here on the Celebrity Eclipse, you will come here um, to get that information, sign up for those shore excursions, or make any changes to shore excursions that you may be booked while you are at home. And that is deck three.